Hey guys, what's up? It is Falmir here. Um, just bringing you a quick tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to be in answer to a question I got on one of my videos here. Uh, you can read here. It is from uh, Kalana Games. Is that how you pronounce it? Kalana Games? Okay. Uh, it was uh, John, can you tell me how to get Tale of Kingdoms, please? Uh, yes, I can. And this is just a quick tutorial to show you how. Um, first of all, um, if you've never modded Minecraft before, um, uh, there's a lot of people who. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube too to show you how to mod Minecraft. It's as simple as going up here and typing in to install Minecraft mod. Like first thing that pops up, right? Um, anyway, but I'm, I'll just quickly throw you another one here because uh, I was asked, and I will gladly do it. So <clears throat> first, before you start modding Minecraft, one important thing to make sure you do is uh, know what version of Minecraft you have. And let me just quickly show you here. This is the current version, 1.2.5. Uh, logging in, uh, and it'll show you here what version you're running. 1.2.5. That is the current, most current version. So, um, little uh, caution here: never mod Minecraft with it running. So, if you're going to open and mod Minecraft, always close it down. That was just to show you what version I'm running. So, this is how to install the Tale of Kingdoms mod for uh, 1.2.5. So, first of all, uh, to install a mod, you're going to need a uh, compression software. Um, there's a bunch of them out there. One of the most common is 7-Zip, uh, so you want to download it. Um, either uh, if you're running 32 or 64, download whatever you need, run it, install it, easy peasy. Uh, if you don't want 7-Zip, there's also another one. This is the one I'm actually going to be using is uh, WinRAR. Let's quickly show you here. Come on, internet, thank you. Um, WinRAR is uh, it's another, like it doesn't matter which you run, they're all pretty much the same just some graphic differences so once you have that all installed it'll only take a second it's not something I need to walk you through um, next thing you're gonna need is the actual Tale of Kingdoms mod and this is just uh, it's a website this is if you look up here it's uh, basically an indexing website for mods and stuff like that minecraft mine.org slash Tale of Kingdoms mod so this has a link to the download for Tale of Kingdoms and everything like that um, now to get the Tale of Kingdoms mod, you're not only going to need the Tale of Kingdoms mod, you're also going to need uh, the mod loader, uh, which is by this guy here. I'm not even going to try pronouncing his name because I don't think I can. Um, so you're going to need to download his mod loader. Uh, so I'll show you how to install that quickly first. So both of these links here are on the same website. Will be in the description if you don't want to type either of these in or find them yourself. That's fine. The description, the links will be in the description. So here's the web page. You just want to scroll down and click download. It'll bring you through the little uh, Adify, Adfly, or whatever you want to call it, the little um, thing just so they can make their, you know, their money. <laughs> so skip the ad, and that's it there. It's already done downloading. Okay, perfect, perfect. So once you have that, I'm just going to find find the folder where you downloaded it to. Here's the mod loader here I just downloaded. So now what you want to do is use your compression software, either JZip or, oh, I guess I'm using JZip, pardon me, not WinRAR. Open JZip, WinRAR, 7-Zip, whatever you're using. Open Archive. That'll pop up. We don't need that no more. Perfect. Right there. So we have this right here. Be quiet, iPod. Thank you. This is all the mod file, the mod loader files that you need to install the mod loader. Okay? So now, you have to get to the Minecraft uh, folder. If you don't know how to get to the Minecraft folder, there's an easy, easy way to do it. I'm actually going to show you here. So you want to type in run. Find this one here. And then you want to type in percent app data percent. Okay, so that'll bring you to this folder. From there, you want to click dot Minecraft. From there, you want to go bin. And then from there, you want uh, your jar. It'll either be uh, minecraft.jar or just Minecraft. This is actually an old jar. Don't mind that at all. It's from 1.1 when we had the pre-release and whatever. So you want to click, right-click this, go to your compression software again, whatever it is, JZip, WinRAR, 7-Zip, and you want to click Open Archive, just like we did there. So close that. now what we have here, let me just size this. Oop, let me just size this up so you can see better. Now what we have here is we have these are the files of the mod here the mod loader pardon me and these are the files of minecraft okay so what you want to do is take your uh, mod files and you just want to go like this click drag drop and it'll go do you want to do this you want to do that do you want to and you just go add and it'll put them all in there okay and then this here quickly 
is very important. Now the mod is in there. Um, there's this folder here in the Minecraft jar called meta inf. Um, this basically prevents you from uh, modifying the jar and stuff so people can't put malicious things into Minecraft. It won't let you run the game once you've modified the jar. So you want to click that, delete. Or I just hit my delete key. You can right click and go. Uh, it should be here. Remove files. You want to go uh, all files in archive. We want to remove that. Oh, hold on. So much easier. Just hit your delete key. Thanks. <laughs> uh, remove. Okay. So there, meta inf is gone. Okay. We don't need to deal with that anymore. So now that the mod loader is in there. Now you actually have to put Tale of Kingdoms. So we're done with this. Uh, like I said, if uh, you can't figure that out, there's actually a little list here that tells you how to install it. It'll say, you know, download it, open app percent data like we did, remember, browse to Minecraft, bin whatever dot Minecraft, open the jar with Rinrar, JZip. It's just repeating what I just said. <laughs> that's the that's how to install the mod loader. Now we want the Tale of Kingdoms. So we have to, you know, here's the Tale of Kingdoms page. Uh, herp -derp. All the way there, right? That's it there. Scroll down the page, find download, click. Waiting, waiting, and it'll ask you to download this. Okay, thank you. And it just opened an advertisement. You get out of my life. Thank you. And it just wait, it's a fairly small, it's only about a megabyte. Um, so it'll download that there. Um, and you want to go, like I said, you want to. That was really loud. Sorry, guys. I don't know if you heard that or not, but that really hurt my ears. Um, like I said, you want to find where you downloaded to me. I'm using Chrome, so it opens it up right there nicely for me. Here's the uh, Tale of Kingdoms. And you want to go take your compression, open archive. Don't need this anymore. So now there's the archive for the Tale of Kingdoms mod. And we still have the Minecraft.jar bin right here, right? Correct? Except. We're not going to be using this right now. Here's what we want to do. We want to go back to that place we were before. So we want to go run, percent data, good, perfect. And you want uh, dot Minecraft. And now in here, this is where you want to be. You want to be in dot Minecraft. Um, depending if you've modded before, you need a mods, a folder that says mods. Okay. So if you don't have one, you want to right click, new folder, and you want to just type in mods, M O D S. Okay, mods. And then, so basically, I guess you know what? I didn't even think we don't even need this open right here. All we got to do, sorry guys, you don't even need that open. <laughs> All you need to do is have your uh, your uh, find where the mod is right here, right? Go to dot Minecraft. I'll size this up so you can see a little better. Like that, and all you got to do once you have your mods folder and everything, like I showed you, just make one. If you don't have one already, you just got to scroll down, find your mod, and you just all you want to do is you want to drop it in the mods folder, right? So take this, drop it there. If it'll work, come on, in there. Thank you, and that's all you need to do. Once that's done, you should be able to just open Minecraft. This worked properly, which you know. Oop, no, thank you. I'm done with you. Log in. In theory, you should just be able to run Minecraft with the mod and everything. You know, open some random whatever, and it should be running perfectly. Generating terrain, building terrain. Uh, Tale of Kingdoms mod is a little clunky, so saving chunks. You save chunks game. Hurry up. Hurry up. Thank you. There. And see that little bar that says the gold coins or whatever? At first you're going to have to wait. Oh, there it is. And then you just click, you know, new conquest or whatever you need to do. And it'll take a second for it to load because Tale of Kingdoms is a fairly big mod. Adventure mods and whatnot usually are. So give it a second. Um, it'll load your conquest or whatever you just picked, right? <coughs> Come on. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. Perfect. And now, there's the guild. It's a little pokey, like I said, because it's got to generate all this stuff here from the mod. 
Um, and I'm recording with Camtasia right now, so I don't know how well it's going to look. But that, this is just so you can see that it, this is how it works. It is, this is how it, it does work, and this is the way to install uh, mods. You just need your mod loader, you need your mod itself, pop it in the folder, good to go. Bang, bang. Simple as that. So, um, with that done, guys, I guess that's uh, pretty much everything. Um, Colin, I'm just going to call you Colin, uh, Colana, whatever your name is. Uh, if you have any more trouble, just leave a comment on this video. Links are in the description. Follow along. It's fairly easy to do. If you can't figure it out, uh, drop me a comment, and I will try to help you out uh, to the best of my ability. All right, thanks. Like, subscribe, like, subscribe, and comment. I really appreciate it, guys. And, uh, uh, yeah, leave some comments if you need some more tutorials. Catch you later.